Hey there, YouTube, and welcome to Altcoin Picks. Today, we're talking about the market, how the market cap has been going crazy, the Bitcoin news, Ethereum news, ICOs in general. It's actually what my video is more centered around, and then some crypto news. So let's get started. First, it looks like we're seeing more green. I mean, there's a few new tokens here, but overall, it's fairly green. We're used to red and red and just more red, especially any of you new people. This is actually pretty positive, at least in my opinion. After that, we have the market cap. Two days ago, we reached $480 billion. Yesterday, $490 billion. Today, we're at 546, Let's see if it went down a little bit. Yeah, 546 billion. That's not too bad, we're rising back up. Let's hope we can get back to at least that 600 billion mark and then just keep on going. After that, Bitcoin actually yesterday went as low as about $1,000. I think it might have broke that, sorry, $10,000. I think it might have broke that $10,000 mark at one point. Right now, it's at 11233 That's not bad. Let's see if it keeps rising. I hope it does, at least not too fast. After that, Ethereum. So Ethereum got to about $1,300, dropped down, I think, to about $800. While well, everything just plummeted, but Ethereum went back up. Everything was still plummeting. So ICOs, I believe, have really pushed up Ethereum and kept it stable. This is good to see. I think Ethereum is going to be huge in 2018. Watch this one. After that, ICOs that I had tried to get in. So Cargo X literally sold out in seconds. I put in my transaction at eight o'clock with 23 seconds, put over their recommended amount and I did not make it in. Seems like the people that got in were throwing in 50 plus dollars in the transaction fees. So is this something we're gonna be looking forward to with ICOs, especially the low market cap ones? So did anybody get in? Of course, obviously I didn't, eh, whatever. After that, block port. This one, I actually did get in. <laughs> This one was open to U.S. investors also. So this one was open to U.S. investors and it closed pretty quick. It wasn't as fast as Cargo X, but it had double the, the hard cap. The last transaction, it seems, was around 12 minutes, which means it probably closed around five minutes in because it takes time for the transaction to process. Either way, I think this one will be huge. It's pretty much a co-vesting, invest feed, ethos, and Coinbase all in one. I'm sure some people will try to say something different, but that's how I see it. I think this one will be awesome. After that, I am putting together a team to do an ICO tracker, similar to Oh Hey Maddie, Ian Bellina, and then the Goblin. I wanna do my own where we look at ICOs, we review them and give them all the numeric value and percentages so that we can judge each one and compare them to past successful ICOs and especially the most successful ones. So I'm excited to get this going and I will open this to my MVPs and admins in my Discord. So you can easily just join my Discord, be a little bit helpful and active and you become an MVP. It's not hard. After that, we have news. So ICO fundraising is rising even with the crypto market downturn. And so Toking offerings have raised over $450 million this month alone. Even though we lost over $300 billion in the market. So it seems that people are trying to find the next way to multiply their, their earnings. So this article mentions that we haven't seen a downturn in the ICO market because there is a bit of a buffer due to the broader timeframes. Quoting Sterling Sweeney, which is the Coinist founder, saying, if we see a prolonged downtrend, we might see that reflect in the data in a couple months. They also talk that the biggest ICO this month raised $100 million being Envion. And then second was taken by one called Neuromation, raising $73 million. So in my opinion, that is way too high unless they're a super established company, something that already has a working product that has been around and we know will be super successful. With that being said, that's pretty much it on this. Oh, it does talk about the ICOs booming. So the highest since October, 
was January this month, but it's still under June, July, and September with the highest month being June hitting over $772 million. So we still have quite a ways to go there. I'm actually surprised with all the money going into ICOs, we're still quite a bit off. With that being said, this is a quick, easy, super short video. Let me know of any ICOs that you are super excited about, especially if they allow US investors. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time.